Hey friends, I hope everyone is doing well and you are healthy and starting the new year off very good here. Obviously the market is trashed and there's a lot of things on sale. Once again, still on sale, good lord. But I wanna talk about Zomatica and something that's going on in Zomatica right now. And obviously I can already hear the bullets coming at me. There's people going Zomatica's trash and there's people going, Zomatica can actually pull something off here. So let's talk about that. We know that when Zomatica came out with their quarterlies here, they weren't great. And Zomatica lost a lot of money. Now, obviously they had put out this new product of theirs. You know, it's been out for almost, almost a year now and it has not been doing as hot as a lot of people were hoping so. Now, obviously, you know, let me go ahead and say this because I'm not bashing Zomatica. I've been, you know, looking at Zomatica for a long time. I like Zomatica and I absolutely want her to percent support the company. I like what they're doing. I'm an animal owner. I love animals and I love I love what they're doing and also I love investing and making money. <laughs> so, it's a good combination here. Now, the interesting part um, what we're seeing right, right now with Zomatica and I'll get to a chart here, but I think, you know, more or less the story right now is in in the actual pie here when we dig into what they're doing here. Zomatica has added new products. Zomatica recently has acquired Plus Veterinary Technologies, and that's known as Plus Vet. Now, in saying that, this is a pretty big deal. Plus Vet does something very interesting, very futuristic, very revolutionary. It uses electric hydraulic hydraulic shockwave technology to treat a wide variety of conditions afflicting veterinary patients. And what this does, the high energy sound waves simulate cells and release healing growth factors in the body that reduces inflammation, increases blood flow, accelerate bone and soft tissue development. So this is pretty extraordinary and it kind of made me think of that Matt Damon movie. I think it's called like Elysium. They kind of had something like that in the movie. So this is a pretty big deal. You know, I, I dare to say that Zomatica obviously is a company that is focusing on pet care products right now, you know, that are going specifically to veterinarians. And obviously those items are going to be pretty expensive and they're going to take time to grow. And I, you know, I, like I said, I dare say it's kind of like a company that is revolutionary in the sense of it's taking very big steps to get somewhere. And whenever you see big steps like this, it can somewhat hurt a company at first because people, a lot of people are not on board. It's expensive. They're having to take time to really focus on getting the products out to their consumers meanwhile not making a whole lot of money just really promoting their product I remember saying this even you know eight months ago to even a year ago about Zomatica that that they were doing this with their other product as well so guys the last big news here and this is probably what everybody's really wanting to know here my thoughts on tomorrow obviously Zomatica tomorrow Monday Zomatica's chief executive Larry Heaton will present a company overview at the upcoming virtual HC Wainwright BioConnect 2022 conference scheduled for January 10th through the 13th of 2020. And the presentation will be available on demand beginning January 10th at 7 a.m. This could be very big, obviously for a few reasons. More than likely, we will see a spike in Zomatica tomorrow. What that spike will be, I don't know. It really depends what articles are going to come out and say about Zomatica. They could trash Zomatica tomorrow. They could say, oh, look at Zomatica again trying to sell something. Or they could say, you know what? Here's Zomatica once again, revolutionary, designing something for the in-house veterinarian to make their life simpler, cost effectively. Obviously, that's what we're wanting to see. This is something you should invest in. Obviously, Zomatica going to this is going to be big and more than not, you know, it should bring in positive news. Why wouldn't it? It should. So saying that, yes, I do expect volume to increase tomorrow. I, I really do. And more than not, it could have high volume Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you know, most of this week. So Zomatica this week is obviously going to have a lot of people in and out of it, trading it, buying in, getting out, buying in and getting out. And it should bring in some life to the stock and hopefully bring in some new blood, some new investors that see it and you know do their due diligence on it and see what the company does, what they've been doing and what they plan on doing. So friends, with all that said, when it comes to Zomatica, I'm still very bullish on Zomatica. You know, when I look at the company and what they're trying to do, I, I, I really do love the company. It's just really trying to get everyone else on board to love the company like a lot of investors do. Friends, remember, be positive, be you, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye friends. Thanks.